We're making oatmeal muffins today. Welcome to Hub at Home, your resource for great recipes and easy learning. I'm Jim Hightower. Today we're making oatmeal muffins. They're delicious, nutritious, and they're just a little bitty old 70 year old recipe from the 1950 Betty Crocker cookbook. So grab your pad and pencil. Here come the ingredients. You will need one cup of old fashioned oats, one cup buttermilk or sour milk, and soak that together for one hour. You'll need one third cup soft shortening, part butter. One third cup is about five and a third tablespoons. So get you two and one third tablespoons of butter and about three tablespoons of Crisco shortening. Half cup brown sugar, one egg, and then finally one cup flour, one teaspoon baking powder, half a teaspoon soda, one teaspoon salt. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees. This recipe moves on very quickly. I've got my brown sugar, my white Crisco shortening, and my butter in there. Here is my one egg. And you just want to cream these together. Nothing to it. Be sure to take the time and scrape the sides and bottom of your bowl. That's it. You're just mixing that together till it's nice and creamy. Now here is our oatmeal and buttermilk and I'm going to take a minute to talk about that. In this original recipe from 1950 it calls for one cup of old-fashioned oats or rolled oats which is the same thing and you have to soak them because they're a whole food and they would be somewhat firm at any rate, um, 40 years ago, they updated the recipe to use quick cook oats or the instant cooking oats. And you don't have to soak them. You just mix it in. So you can do the quick cook oats or the old fashioned oats. But to my liking, the old fashioned oats have a little bit more um, nutritional value. Uh, maybe I was just born old, but if you don't want to wait an hour, you can use the quick cook. So, over here, this is my bowl of dry ingredients. It has flour, uh, soda, baking powder, salt, etc. And what you're going to do is just mix a little bit of the milk and oats and mix in a little bit of your dry ingredients and just make sure it's incorporated and continue until you're done. The biggest thing is, is just don't dump all that flour in at once. It'll be a big mess and um, Nobody wants that. Then, you put your final third of the oatmeal and buttermilk. By the way, um, you could use sour milk in this. And in fact, I am using sour milk. If you don't have buttermilk, you take one cup of milk and one tablespoon of either lemon juice 
or uh, white vinegar. The acid in either one of those will break down the milk and kind of make it clot like buttermilk. And that's called sour milk. And it's a buttermilk replacement. Again, I can't tell you how much I like KitchenAid, uh, not only the stand mixers, Big Red you've seen, but um, this hand mixer with the slow start so that all your stuff doesn't go Wah! all over the kitchen. And that's it. Now I'm going to set this aside. I've got my muffin pan and my oven just about ready. I'm going to spray this with some olive oil. Normally I would use the regular cooking stuff, but this is what we had. And it's no big deal. It doesn't really change the flavor all that much. Before I put these into the muffin pan, I'm going to give it one more stir with my spatula. Make sure everything's incorporated. And um, I'll take this and set that aside. Now, I was looking for like a soup ladle, but what I also find handy in the absence of that is this is a third cup measure, and you can kind of give each one roughly the same amount. Now you're aiming to fill these up about two-thirds full and I may be, no, nah, the middle's sticking up but it'll settle down. And there we are. That goes into your 400 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Check it at 15 minutes till you know how it's going to work with your oven and go till it's done. They'll be slightly brown around the edges. While my oven finishes preheating, I'm going to taste this because it's so good. Mmm. Mmm. It's almost as good as a homemade cake batter. With that just half a cup of brown sugar, it gives you just enough richness, but not too much sweet. And these are wonderful. Mmm. So good. This is what they look like out of the oven after about 17, maybe 18 minutes in my oven. Slightly more brown than I like, but they're absolutely perfect. You just let them cool for about five minutes, slide your knife around the edge, lift it up to loosen them. And I've done all of them except for those three. And then what you can do to keep them from tearing up, just put it like this and turn them over. And there you go. Ta-da! Look how beautiful and brown those are and actually I don't think these are overcooked on top now that I look at them but they are just great for so many occasions they're great for a snack or with breakfast um, you could put it in lunch with that buttermilk and the oats they stay moist and delicious you can choose whether you like them hot or cold by themselves or with butter or jelly or something but they're absolutely delicious even my wife liked them so you can't beat that if you like this 70 year old recipe for delicious oatmeal muffins Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and share with your friends who like to cook or just want to learn how. Drop me a line in the comments below about your experience with this recipe and how you like to serve it. Click the bell in the top right hand corner for notifications. 
I'm Jim Hightower, and remember, everyone needs help, even me. Enjoy, and be well. If you like this recipe for oatmeal muffins, it's only seven... Ugh. If you like this, hmm, subscribe and share with your friends. I spit. Subscribe and share with your friends. <laughs> One more time. Oh, I messed up again.